couple of weeks ago, I asked over on my community tab where what I could possibly help you with right now. And overwhelmingly, 71% of you said that you wanted help kind of getting to know what you can do to earn money with Canva by freelancing and that side of things. And one of the ways that I think you can do that is by actually leveraging the way that you can now create video on Canva. You can earn money by creating video ads using Canva. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So I got an email the other day from a well-known furniture retail store that's Swedish. And this is the kind of advert that kind of was showing on there. This is just an animated GIF that kind of like loops and goes backwards and forwards. And I thought, this is something that you'd actually really be able to create in Canva pretty easy. And then I thought, well, how are you going to find a client for that? Well, you're going to come over to something like Fiverr so you can start creating a gig. I've not created a Fiverr gig before. If that's something you'd like me to have a go at and kind of show, share my experience on setting up a Fiverr gig, let me know down in the comments below while you're just commenting on that. I am going to say that just putting yourself out there can be quite scary. So, you know, you do just have to kind of put yourself out there and start creating your work, create a portfolio and kind of practice. So if you're creating something like Fiverr, you're going to want to have things like that demonstrate the kind of video that you can create. So have a go and follow along with this video step by step. And if you do share it on Instagram, don't forget to tag me at Better Content Creators. I'd love to see you create with this kind of tutorial. Okay, so this is just, uh, it's 560 by 560, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make it a 1080 by 1080 video. And when we come over to the Canva homepage, you'll notice this is recently changed from their big announcements. And we're gonna come over to videos. It's the video option you're going to want. If you don't use the video option, you won't see the same kind of timeline that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. And then the one we're gonna click on is a 1080 by 1080. You're just gonna click on Facebook video ad. Now that's gonna come up and it's gonna give us this timeline down the bottom here. And we're gonna be able to add pages, and then in between, we're going to have this arrow, but the plus button, should I say, not an arrow button. And we're going to either be able to add pages in there or add in transitions. This is the video that I've created. Come join in a song. The feeling is here today. Hurry Christmas. Hurry now. So what we're going to want to do is on our first page if you like our first kind of area that we want to create an image i just searched for a different living room and then i want to just add that to the background if i double click on that i can then reposition that image the next thing we've got is we've got some animated text that comes in t on the keyboard to give some animated text and this font that i used in the video is called little summer and i just really liked the kind of playful vibe of this font and we're going to put this up here we've got a really nice kind of area here that we can have that the font will kind of stand out and it's making sure that you've got those areas on the designs and on the images that you're using your client will give you some images that they'll want you to use if you're creating an advert for them and i'm just going to come over to position and make sure that that is centered Alignment of your text or anything on your design is key. And now what we want to do is we want to come over to animate that. It's not a static image that we're creating here. We're creating a video. So we want to come over and we want to add some animation. I'm going to add the typewriter animation. Okay. So under the typewriter animation, I don't want it to animate on and off. So when we transition to the next screen, I don't want it to animate off. I just want it to snap into that next element there so I only want this on enter and I'm going to change it down to around about this kind of speed we're getting into that kind of cozy slower pace and you can change this as well so it can be on enter you can be by character or by word if you wanted to I've got it by character because I just prefer that kind of typewriting effect this one we want this to be two and a half seconds we can play about with the timings on this later on if you wanted to so you just make sure you've got the uh, the main template highlighted and you come up here and you can change the timing and if i wanted to change that to all three pages i could do the next page that i came across 
was I went to templates and I found this template. This was a video template that kind of had really kind of nice video animation, but I didn't want this kind of video animation in the background. What I ended up doing is I wanted to create something that had kind of like a static kind of because we're going to the option we're going to use the and the, the transition we're going to use is going to come in what i wanted is i'm going to come over to page three and then if i come over to my photos this is the cozy photo that i created i'm just going to right click on that set as background image okay now you notice this is opposite way around that I want it. I kind of prefer it to look from the left to the right. So I'm going to flip that. And now I've got that cozy living room kind of vibe. And that allows me to then come into here and pick a consistent color because it's now going to give me these photo colors when I'm choosing the background. Okay, so that's where I've got the text was there from that template and I want to change the wording and to say it's time to get cozy. So this actual page doesn't animate, it's just the transition that we want. And I like this chop option here and I want it from the top corner. So let me show you that again. I'm going to come into the transitions here and we're going to have it however long we want i'm going to stick with the default which is 0.5 seconds and we're going to have it coming in from the top in the top left hand corner i'm just dub going to double check that's what i was using on the other one yep top left hand corner i've got the finished result over on another screen here so i can make sure that i'm creating the video the same for you so we'll see as we transition between that it's just going to come in and chop down. It's time to get cozy. We don't need this to be on screen for too long. It's just going to be 1.5 seconds. And then we've got another transition into the next section. And we're going to use the chop option again. And this time we're going to use the top right hand corner and use the same. So it kind of comes in there. So let me just play back that animation for you. Looking good, I think you'll agree. It kind of, you know, it's getting there. We've got some transitions to, you know, going from summer through to a more kind of seasonal kind of vibe. Now, on this image, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it feel cozy and I wanted to add some animation in there. I'm just going to come over to Elements. And recently I added the hot chocolate one here. And this is just an image. If I shrink this down, it's just going to sit there on the coaster and look amazing. And then we've got this kind of steam effect that I could add over the top of the hot chocolate. So it just gives that kind of cozy vibe. And it's just an image that's going to come on. And this particular one, we're only going to have it on for 0.5 seconds. I'm going to tell you exactly why when we come on to duplicate this page. So if I click on the three dots here, I can then duplicate or I can press Command D. And if you do want a full list of keyboard shortcuts, I'll put a link to my blog post down in the description below. So now we've got, you know, transition into summer. We've got this image and then this one here. This is where we're going to then now add in some text. So the text that I wanted to add in feel cozy this season and then I've drawn in that animated arrow. So I'm going to click on the text here. The text we're going to use is Lato Bold. Feel cozy this season. Now I want to change the font color of this. I'm just going to highlight that and change the font color. And then what we're going to do to make that pop from the background there, we're going to come over to effect and we're going to click lift. You can change the intensity of this. You can have it pop a little bit more if you wanted to. I want to give that text and that font a cozier feeling. It's quite separated at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my line spacing and I'm going to decrease that to about 0.9 there or thereabouts. You can play about with this now. What I want is also that animated arrow. This is the one that I used here. Again, I can just shrink this down, rotate it. And we're kind of 
suggesting that you're going to be sitting here feel cozy in this seat that's why i've chosen this image because it creates that really good kind of cozy kind of you can, you can almost imagine sitting on that sofa and enjoying the a nice hot chocolate let me know down in the comments below if this is honestly season wise autumn and winter are my two favorite seasons this is the kind of vibe that we're creating with this advert and this one is going to be 1.8 seconds long and it's just giving us time to add that animation we've got a baseline effect on this text so we're going to come over highlight the text animate we're going to click on baseline we want it just on enter and then i want to slow this down a little bit if it's fast if it's coming on too fast that doesn't create the cozy feeling that we want to create with this particular advert next we are adding in the section at the bottom that says new products in store so we're going to duplicate this page again on this page we don't want this to kind of animate in again we want it to just kind of smoothly transition so what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove the transition from this text here okay remove that animation from there this is still going to be looping and this is an animated gif so that's going to still be looping on this particular section i'm going to make this page 8.7 seconds long and that's so it kind of we're going to put some music on this to create help create the vibe as well copy paste okay again you can just use the duplicate option here but again we're going to make sure we position that in the center and we're just going to come over to the square option here okay and again we're going to just make sure that covers the back position center that so it kind of goes over the edge a little bit and i just want to change the color of that so if we highlight it we've already chosen the red on the page two here we're going to want to use the same red so make sure your colors are consistent and what we're going to do now is we're going to group those items i want to add some animation on there so i'm going to come into animate i want baseline and i want it just on enter and i'm gonna slow that down again so let's play that back goodbye summer it's time to get cozy feel cozy this season new products in store next what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some audio to create that vibe for this particular advert if you've if it's got audio we've got text over the top to kind of guide our viewers or guide your clients viewers towards what's happening okay what we also want to do is we want to add in some music in there if you're creating music for clients i would highly suggest that you get an epidemic sound commercial account i'll put a link down below to a 30-day trial of that but if you're building up your portfolio to share on your social media your website wherever then use the audio in canvas the music i've chosen for this was santa is coming and i actually found this over on epidemic sound there you go i just prefer the search options when using it on epidemic sound but i used it and i can then now find it i just typed in the search here santa is coming okay and then i just want to change that over here so let's play that back. Come join in our song. The feeling is here today. There you go. You've now created a really good video for someone to use in an advert. It's showing you know transition of new product you've got animation in there all you do to share this item you come download it and you can download it as an mp4 video and this is where if you're sharing this on your youtube channel or social media accounts connect your social media accounts and just do that and then you're going to avoid any issues with getting a copyright strike as i say if you're using it for clients 30-day trial of epidemic sound down below that's going to allow you to then release the videos 
for copyright to your clients. If you've got any questions on creating video in Canva, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe. Until next time, bye for now. Come join in.